guys, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a week in my life vlog, which I've never done before. There are two reasons why I'm doing this vlog. One, I'm not really uh, going on a trip for the next one week and that rarely happens. I've been traveling so much. So I thought I'll vlog and show you guys a little behind the scenes of what my life is like when I'm not traveling. It mostly involves editing videos, so it's not very exciting. But the second reason why I'm making this vlog is that I got a new camera recently. It's actually been 3-4 months and I haven't been using this camera as much. Mostly because my trips have been very short and I was just going with what I was comfortable with. But I realized that unless I take the effort to vlog with this camera, I'm never going to be used to it. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. This whole setup is actually quite heavy. So this is the setup. This is the Sony A6500 with the 16mm Sigma lens. I've got a mic as well. This is the Rode Video Micro, I think. And I've got this Manfrotto tripod, which is not the same as my old one. It's a new one for DSLRs. Ah, this is so heavy. So today is a Friday. It's about 4 p.m. right now. I decided to do this vlog very late in the day. But nonetheless, you haven't missed much because I've just been working all day. But because it's a Friday evening, I'm going to be meeting some of my friends. So that's what's going to be happening today evening. But let's get back to work now. Waking up, yeah, always when we meet, something still missing. We're still faking it. We Guys, I just got some home decor stuff shipped from Amazon, and I am so excited about this. This wall grid had such bad reviews online, but the better option was like three, four times more expensive. So I just bought this and it's surprisingly very good quality. I don't know why it had bad reviews. It was for like 700 rupees and it's great. And yes, I'm still not done decorating my house. So far, I only have this section done up and a little bit over there. But uh, the thing is, I've barely been around. Whenever I'm back home, it's only for like three, four days. and. I'm only spending that time editing or like resting and getting other work done so I don't have the time for this and I want to take the time and like decorate my house nicely but I also want to keep it minimalistic so I think I'm more or less done I just have a few posters and stuff to put up so hopefully the apartment tour will come up soon fingers crossed so Friday evening scene some of my friends are here Snigda and Suraj hey guys so this is actually Snigda's farewell party. She is leaving us and moving to Delhi. Because she sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're just having a farewell party for her, waiting for other people to arrive. But meanwhile, we're eating momos because momos are life. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta move, gotta dare to speak the truth Cause something's not working Yeah, I'm done faking it And pretending we're good, yeah Cause you know I'm feeling something's missing Know it's not what I had wished for Let's stop praying for love What I'm talking Why? Okay. I love this song! Why is this been posted upon me? Hi guys. <laughs> she hates being on my vlog. But we were roomies for two years. Yeah. Hand hug. <laughs> So last night was a lot of fun. I ended up staying till late, so woke up late today. But the plan for today is to edit two videos. Normally it takes me two days to edit one video, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but uh, these are slightly more casual vlogs. So I'm hoping I can manage to edit two videos. So let's fix myself a breakfast, some coffee, a lot of coffee actually, and get to work. I'm slipping away. So don't let me go now. Done with breakfast, getting down to editing now. So normally when I'm editing, I start with 
This is Final Cut Pro, which is the software I use, and I start by putting all the clips into my timeline. So right now I have about one or eight minutes of footage, which is actually not that much. Usually I have like four or five hours of footage I'm working with, so it takes me like two days to edit. But this is a relatively easier edit because there's not that much footage. So once I do that, I then scrub through my timeline, see what the video is like, get a feel of it, and look for music accordingly. For music, I use this website called Epidemic Sound and another website called music bed so these are the two websites i primarily use so it's about 8 30 pm right now and i spend the entire day editing videos i only managed to finish one video i sort of started the second video so i think if i edit at night and do a bit tomorrow i'll be fine so one video is done and right now i also did my laundry by the way so that's done and right now I'm just heading out for dinner with Sejal who's also a YouTuber, I'm sure you know her. So let's get going. What's up people? I'm on Pritika's channel. We have to do a collab dude. You promised, your, I saw on your channel there was a comment that said that we should collab. You replied also. <laughs> what should we do? Please comment below what you think we should do together. And also look for So I was telling Kritika, I basically texted her like on our chat um, see if there's Neha over there, don't look. And go by for it, and she looked at them say, and now I'm creepy with the footage really rare. I'm so <laughs> Left and look who I met up with, Shum. She's back on the vlog. Yes. So we're meeting after a very long time. Uh, she went to Zero, then I went to Dubai, then she went to London, and yeah, we've just been traveling a lot. Shum is so sweet. She got me gifts from London. Not that much. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh my God, you will really open. <laughs> So for some reason, this entire clip is out of focus, so I'm not going to be including it. But thank you so much, Shum, for the gifts. My tasting one, two, three. So we're just doing a bit of indulging. We've come to Theo Broma and we're eating brownies. I'm eating a red velvet brownie, which is my favorite. So that it's in the frame. <laughs> and that's the walnut brownie. Which is yummy. So good. No, I think this is the best. This is the best. This is the second best. No, this is the best. No, that is good, but it's the second best. This is too sweet. Yeah, I like sweet. We just left Theo Broma and came home and realized we forgot to pay. I don't know how it happened. Usually you pay and then sit down to eat. We went to pay also and he said no you eat first then pay. Yeah. And we totally forgot and we just left. So we're just gonna call them now and see if we can pay them online or something. Uh, uh, what do you suggest we do? We are so sorry we just forgot. It's okay no problem. I'm just uh, next time you will come. Uh, next time show then you make the payment for that. Okay. Okay. okay thank you thank you so much yeah, thank you we yeah thought that they'll call us back immediately yeah but they were just like, like come that. whenever you come next pay so i'm definitely gonna pay because i love them mm -hmm. but yeah that we was so sweet of them thank you so much <laughs> yeah don't want to be blacklisted <laughs> by theo broma for sure i'm stepping away Guys, I have just been editing all day long and I'm such an idiot. I just went for like a 15 minute power nap and it ended up lasting like an hour. I'm just gonna make myself some coffee now, fold my laundry because my apartment is tiny and that laundry thing is just taking up so much space. I don't have like a balcony or anything here to dry my clothes. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and get back to work. Laundry is done. It's actually my least favorite chore to do because I just hate like having to wash my clothes and then drying them and then folding them. But you gotta do what you gotta do. The 
time is 2:24 a.m. So the entire day has just gone in editing videos. This is honestly what most of my edit days are like, and they happen quite often because I do post videos every week. Uh, so I didn't really have anything fun to vlog today. But tomorrow is my last day in Mumbai because day after tomorrow I'm heading back home for a few days. It's my dad's birthday, and then it's Diwali, so I'm going home for that. So I'm very excited about that. So tomorrow I think I'll have things to vlog. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's a new day. It's actually afternoon right now. It's about 3 p.m. I've been uh, working all morning, and last night I ended up staying up till 4 a.m. working. So yeah, it's been kind of hectic. But nonetheless, uh, I have a lot of things to do today, work-wise. I have this interview to give. It's only a written interview, so I just have to send my answers across to them. But the deadline is today, so I have to do that. I have to edit another vlog. I have to. pack because i'm going home tomorrow i have to film a short intro video for this contest that i'm judging uh, i'm actually judging this competition it's a vlogging competition at bhu uh, iit varanasi and it's so cool because my great granddad studied there so to be judging a competition although it's only an online competition so i don't have to actually go there but still kind of cool uh, so i have to do that and a few other emails i have to reply to a few calls and i have to make my video live today so yeah a lot happening and i'm just taking a lunch break i ordered myself some lasagna because i was really craving something unhealthy and cheesy and it looks so good so i've just come to this cafe called kelan cafe which is near my house it's so cute it's so pink and aesthetic and instagramable but anyway i got myself some coffee and i'm just going to edit my video and get some work done now i also have to make my vlog live in a bit so i'm kind of nervous about that because it's kind of like a personal raw vlog i haven't posted to many of those on my channel so i don't know how people will respond but let's see I just made it to the airport and I'm at the end of this really long queue. This is going to take a while. So I got myself a smoothie and quick thoughts about vlogging using this camera. I feel like I'm starting with vlogging all over again. A lot of people ask me how I vlog in public and ask me for tips on how to vlog without feeling awkward and the thing is it just comes with practice it's always going to be awkward but with time you get used to it i'm honestly feeling a little bit awkward using this camera especially because this is more noticeable even when i got this smoothie usually with my small camera people don't mind if i'm filming but when there's this big camera people do mind so there is that but yeah you just have to force yourself to keep vlogging with this until you get used to it so i'm just going to grab my smoothie and run to my gate now because i'm actually getting quite late Just landed in Chennai and I'm already so excited to be going home. So in case you didn't know where I'm going, I'm going to Vellore, which is where my family lives. So I took a flight from Mumbai to Chennai, and now there's a three-hour journey by road to Vellore. So yeah, it's quite a long journey. I'm super hungry right now. My flight got delayed by an hour after all the running around that I did. But my mom is so sweet. The driver has come to pick me up, and my mom has sent uh, some food along with the driver. So. I can't wait to eat some ghar ka khana. Haan, alar ghar ma. Ningo. Haan, ghar ma ya. <laughs> you want to make a home shopping? I was watching so, your vlog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching my vlog. Hi. Yeah. There. there. <laughs> there Look who's home. Hi. And he's down with a fever, unfortunately. Yes. What timing? So. Yeah, today has just been a very random day. I've just been editing my video, and my dad's gonna come home for lunch, so we're all gonna have lunch together. And 
my mom has made some awesome food for lunch so i'm very excited about that we also got my dad a cake so cake bhi kaatenge lunch khayenge that's all we're going to do today a lot of food so everyone's home my dad is here happy birthday papa thank you thanks cakes and yeah this is what we're eating for lunch today happens every summer things are moving slow and time to unwind on the gives me time to spend alone What a satisfying meal. I definitely ate a lot. Also, back in my room, so nice to be back here. Uh when you leave home, I feel like your room just becomes like a storeroom in the house. For some reason, there's all these random gym accessories. There's a ball there. There's random things on my study table. So, I don't know what happened while I was gone. So, I've had a very good productive work day. Just made today's video live and I'm going shopping right now. It's Diwali in like 4 days and I have nothing to wear. I should have done my shopping in Mumbai because it's so much nicer for shopping, but nonetheless, I'm just going shopping with my mom. Going to buy a couple of Indian clothes. I don't honestly have that many Indian clothes and I want to start wearing more Indian clothes every now and then. So, I'm going to buy like a couple of things now. So, let's go. So, I wasn't allowed to film at the store, but I'm at Pantaloons right now and I've picked up quite a lot of outfits. Some of them are more dressy and for Diwali, others are just like daily wear because I needed some for daily wear as well. So these are all the clothes, quite a lot of them. Let's quickly try them on. I can't help but wonder if anyone's in town scrolling through the phone on a Sunday just hanging around with nothing to do. So I was just trying on clothes here and I ran into a subscriber of mine Pavitra. Hi. So cool. I wasn't expecting this in Vellore. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So guys, I'm back home now and I ended up buying two kurtas. I'll probably wear them over the weekend for Choti Diwali and Badi Diwali. If you want to see what I bought, follow me on Instagram because I'm very active on stories there. And I'm going to end this vlog right now. I know I did only 6 days. I was supposed to do 7 because it's a week in my life, but unfortunately, I'm down with a fever. I think I caught it from Vikram. But but i'm not feeling the best so tomorrow i'm just going to take it easy and relax and i'm going to end this vlog now but before i go i'm going to ramble for a couple of minutes so bear with me firstly i've really enjoyed vlogging with this camera it's been quite challenging this whole setup is quite heavy there's no flip out screen so i can't even see if i'm in focus right now or like what's happening but i can tell that the video quality has improved so i'm very happy about that let me know if you think so too also this has a mic so i'm sure the audio is much better as well the only problem is that although the camera has inbuilt stabilization the lens doesn't so i think some of the footage is shaky i'm going to have to work on that the setup is too heavy for me so i don't think using a gimbal is something i'm very comfortable with But yeah, I'll figure it out. I think it's a good place to start. I also feel like this setup isn't the best for like casual vlogs because this is such an intimidating setup to use in like public places. Like today, I'm sure if I had my smaller camera, I could have vlogged at pantaloons. But like because this is a huge setup with a mic and everything, it looks very professional. And like they didn't allow me to vlog. So there's that. So I think I'm gonna be using both my cameras. So let's see. But for now, I'm gonna go because I'm feeling quite sick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how it turned out. My whole intention, like I mentioned. at the start of the video was to get used to using this camera which i think i am used to it now so that was successful uh, i hope this was interesting to watch i can't even remember what all i did now so this is going to be interesting to edit but i hope you enjoyed it if you did like this video leave a comment subscribe press the bell button and i will see you guys next time bye